Thanks for keeping it on 1225. Only 11 more days in our countdown to Christmas. Time to check in again with the Elf Choir. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. I guess they're still working on that one. Don't feel bad, guys. I don't know all the songs to that, or all the words to that song either. <laughs> so, if you do, let me know. But I think it's one of those mystery songs where you can kind of add the words you want. And now, for the star of today's show, if you have a lot of caffeine in you, since my sleep last night was terrible, um... <laughs> If you don't, I'm sure you'll still be delicious. December 14th. Ooh, this one looks yummy. There's a little chocolatey chip guy in there. And it looks like a snowflake. Sprinkle. Ooh, snow day. I'm not sure what the base of this tea is. Let's check. So on the back of the tea calendar, you guys, it's got all the teas. I don't look at it too much because I don't want to spoil myself for some of the stuff that's in the uh, box. So I'm not going to look at the rest, but I know it's right here. And it says that it's an herbal infusion. So it's not super caffeinated. So I think I'm going to leave this one for tonight because I need... A little bit more pizzazz today. I think it's going to be a, a two coffee kind of a day. Oh, okay. <laughs> Calm down. Okay, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay. Ah, ah, just wait. Leave it. Leave it. Okay, find it. It's up here. This one right there. Oh, you got it. You got it. This one. You just inhale those things. Oh. Yeah, I think you got all the rest of them. <laughs> one of these days you're going to just tear it just to get into the other ones that aren't open yet. Like that. <laughs> Stop that. I'm just sitting down to eat my breakfast really quick. Um, so tired. <laughs> the early start my husband had this morning was rough on all of us. Uh, he was tired because he couldn't really get to sleep because I wasn't, I think it was because I wasn't in bed yet. And I don't know, when you just like, when you go to bed at the same time as someone for like <laughs> years, we'll, we'll just say years. Um, if they're not there, it really affects your sleep. Even just, I don't know, it's very weird. Um, so I guess the thing is that it was, he had trouble sleeping because I wasn't there at the beginning and then he left at 2.45 in the morning and I couldn't get back to sleep after that. So, needless to say, coffee. Also, today is going to be a numbers heavy day at work so I'm just going to get there plug away stay awake drink coffee get home it's going to be a shorter vlog today because it's Monday there's not much going on I will um, yeah I will update you guys on my reading because uh, I read three chapters, like I said yesterday, of House on the Cerulean Sea. Really enjoyed those three chapters. Super cute. Kind of gave me nostalgia vibes from, like, reading the first, like, Harry Potter. The character's very lonely, and I really, oh, I just really enjoyed him a lot. Um, very simple. Appreciates a simple life. Maybe wonders if there's more... I just, oh, I'm going to read more of it today for sure, and I will let you know how I feel about it. I'll read it on my breaks and at lunch. And then I only have like two chapters of that audiobook left, um, Christmas at Tiffany's, and I will update you guys on that. When I finish it, when I get home probably, I'll update you. It's not as Christmassy as I wanted. 
am pretty disappointed in that because the cover and everything just scream Christmas. And it even says Christmas in the title. But it's very little Christmas. There's only got like one Christmassy part, to be honest. The rest is all like set at all different times in the year. But it's not super Christmassy. So, oh well. I read it. Um, I'm liking the characters. I'm liking the story. Hmm. I think that's about all I got to say on that one right now. Very basic hair and makeup today because I'm so tired. <laughs> I don't want to try anything crazy and it looks terrible. So straight hair, basic makeup. I haven't even decided what to wear yet. So that'll be a game time decision, so they say. Monday evening. I just got home from work. Tonight we are doing a frozen pizza because they're delicious and they're easy and both my husband and myself are dead tired. <laughs> so he went in for early start today at work and I effectively kind of went to bed at my normal time but then once he got up at like 3, 2 30 in the morning I was awake. So that kind of sucked. Um, not gonna lie. It was not the best time. Uh, today at work was I was exhausted, so it was it was a long, long day at work, just waiting to get back here. So we're gonna eat the pizza. We're gonna watch something Christmassy. I'm gonna finish my wrapping, and I might make a batch of the icing for the sugar cookies that I have to ice um, because it actually lasts like a week uh, between when you make it and when you should use it. If you keep it airtight, and so I keep it in an airtight container, and I put saran wrap over the top of it just so it doesn't get any air in it, so that it stays icing consistency. So I will be doing that hopefully this evening, getting that started. But on reading note, I did finish today Christmas at Tiffany's by Karen Swan. So I combo read and listened to the audiobook on this one because it's a large, it's a chunky one. Um, and I was definitely scared going in because as you are aware, I picked up Grown Ups last month by Marion Keys and it was a large contemporary. I was excited going in and it put me in a huge reading slump and was definitely not what I was expecting. So I was very weird going into a large romance contemporary. Ugh, I was so scared. But it was good. Um, it was lighthearted. It was a romance. It was not super uh, family saga drama heavy. It's about three um, a girl and her three best friends and they all live in different cities and basically what happens is um, Cassie, our main character, got married, and uh, you find this at the very beginning of the book, so not a surprise. Uh, her and her husband, something has happened, I won't tell you, because that's kind of a spoiler, but it hasn't worked out. So they have recently separated, and her friends have taken her on, and she's going to spend Christmas, or she's going to spend a year going to all three cities that her friends live in. One lives in New York, one lives in, um, Paris. And one lives in London. She lives currently in Scotland. So she has moved and her first stop is New York. And so her friends helps get her a job in New York and all the hustle and bustle and everything that goes with New York and romance ensues. And then she moves on to Paris and all the, the life she lives in Paris is just, oh, I loved it until things go a little, a, a little awry, I think is the word, right? Yeah. I think that's the word. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's my brain's turned off already, you guys. It's like the super early wake up. But um yeah, so she leaves there and goes to London and in that time there's a wedding planning happening for one friend, possibly two friends, and her divorce she's waiting for it to get finalized and it's all this kind of stuff ensues. I was in love with the characters. Uh Cassie, the main character, is you, you feel bad for her, but you also kind of feel like she does it to herself a little bit. Um, so I, I did like her as a main character. Very troubled. Uh, 
the secondary characters, the three best friends, all have super unique individual personalities and I loved reading about them. Anouk was one of my favorites, the friend that lives in Paris. She is super duper Paris French, um, like high end class she ugh, she's just classy super classy and i really enjoyed that um she has some demons which we find out about a little bit later on things go a little bit awry there like i said and uh we find out some stuff about that um the kelly the new york living friend is hustle and bustle all the time super high-end new york socialite lifestyle the best of the best up there with the creme de la creme of all the people involved with all the fashion shows and the like it's so it's super fun to read about and just engrossing she also meets a friend um who is a uh a hairdresser so that i really liked too he is a uh, baz he is a fabulous character just really liked his character all the time every time i came into contact with him in this book just my heart sorry if you can hear the road noise outside they are cleaning up the snow in our area from the blizzard they're like putting in the back of big semis and hauling it away so if you hear anything in the background that's what that is and my apologies um yeah the final friend is one who has recently gotten married and she lives in london and she has a brother named henry and uh, Susie is her name and Susie has a brother named Henry and they've all been friends since they were kids so Henry's basically like a brother to her and you know it's ugh. and he kind of like gives her scavenger hunts to do in all these cities and it's just oh it melts my heart I just love it um, yeah I will say that I was quite upset that look at the cover right Gorgeous, stunning, fabulous. Christmas. Christmassy scene, winter wonderland, New York back here. Oh, it's so wonderful. There wasn't a lot of Christmas. <laughs> so there was a Christmas scene when she's in New York. And then at the very end, in like the, the epilogue, there's another Christmas scene. That's it. So most of this takes place in like the spring and the summer and the fall and there's like literally like a couple pages of Christmas. So that's unfortunate. So it wasn't a very Christmas centered, you know, it gave me feel good vibes and stuff. And they talk about all the like the little Christmassy, um, um, your common Christmassy things in New York, like skating, Rockefeller Center, and like all that, and, Chris, and the Tiffany's store, and yeah, but it's for like two pages. <laughs> so, ugh. but other than that, it was a good book, a good story, not enough Christmas. I'm very disappointed with that. Um, I'm currently reading uh, The House in the Cerulean Sea about a um, social worker and some wayward children um, that have magical or special abilities and he has just been sent off to this special uh, house for the children that he didn't even know existed so he's trying to figure out what where is this place and why did he not know that it existed um, yeah it is I'm really enjoying it so far and I'm about five chapters in and it's already got me and it's funny and his cat is she is she has a personality of her own that cat she is great and i love that he has to take the cat with him because there's no one else like he's this lonely old guy and he's got no one else to look after his cat so so far loving the characters we've come in contact with our main character and his cat are just the bee's knees like they are just the greatest things ever and it's not even a christmas book it's a fantasy book um but it's a feel-good kind of a fantasy book and it's funny and so it's really giving me those homey cozy vibes that I love this time of year like we get from Harry Potter you know that coming home feeling and it kind of because it has some magical elements and you're going he's getting whisked away on a train right now to this house for magical ability to children and individuals so yeah it's so far it's a great um, I'm going to start listening to Plum Pudding 
Murder, I think, tomorrow at work since I've finished off reading and listening to Christmas at Tiffany's. And uh, I will start that one. So hopefully I'll have an update on that for you and if I'm liking it or not. And I'll have another update for you on The House on the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Klune. Um, if you have not read this book, I am already loving it and I suggest you pick up The House on the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Klune. I know it is available on Scribd um, in Canada for uh, as of December 17th it says for me so uh, I will be reading it and then once it's available I will be combo reading listening to it if I'm not already finished it because I have a feeling I'm gonna fly through this book um, that's it for me tonight I think I don't have much else to update you guys on give you a good reading update uh, tonight because I know that's one of the things we all come here for booktube is vlogmas and reading updates um, I'm gonna go wrap some gifts make some icing and have pizza and watch something Christmassy and probably fall asleep <laughs> very early. So thank you for watching. As always, please like and subscribe down below to see more video content from me in Vlogmas and more of my adorable dog, Kieran, and my sassy cat. <laughs> so thanks again for watching. I appreciate your friendship and appreciate all of your views.